So for today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look. Um, it's not too different, but a lot of people ask me on how I did it, and it is different products that I use now. I think I use like three different things in my step process, and I highlight in different areas. It might not look like it, um, but I do go through some tips, and yeah, that's it. Okay, there you go. I actually use a primer now. My skin is good enough to be able to use a primer, so fuck yeah. I use Smashbox water primer thing. They suggested this to me at Sephora, so this is what I use now. I don't really know how much you're supposed to use. I just spray on my face until I feel evenly misted, I guess you could say. And that's about it. Probably too much, probably too little. I don't fucking know. Clinique. The, I use neutral for my skin tone. I also have beige in here. Sometimes I do mix them. Um, this, I do this for like warmer cuts. <laughs> it matters how I want to look that day, but it's really fucking sad that I can't find my Jeremy Craft Shop mirror. <sighs> kind of fucking pissed about it. A lot of people are like, oh, I really like the video quality now. It looks really good. Um, this is the same camera that I used when, it's the new camera actually, the the one that you guys were like, oh I don't like it. I found out I need to change my card if I'm going to be doing 4K. But it's the same camera and you guys are like, oh I really like the video quality now, so I guess you do like the goddamn camera. <laughs> I just need to change out the card so I can do 4K and everything should be good. Also the dress that I am wearing, because I know people will ask about it, it is from Killstar, and it is the Marilyn Manson collection. They stopped selling this recently, so... Sorry. Can't really help you with that. But I also got the sweater. And it is good. But I'm really scared of, like, washing it. I mean, I have washed it already because I wore it. But I'm just... I don't know. Do you ever get scared of, like, putting expensive clothes into the washer and dryer? I don't know. I haven't spent this much money on clothes in a long time. I want to say thank you for everyone that was like super kind in the last video. I was expecting like crazy shit to go down because of the community, but it seems like a lot of people agree with it, which is... Oh, oh good, nothing came out. Okay, let me just apply this and then go get that off of the floor. Neutral um, concealer by Kat Von D. Fucking everybody uses it. Like everybody. I did hate this when I first got it, but I like it now. I use the same shit, just some random brush. I like using a brush like this. I know some people like I just like this brush for some fucking reason. This is part of the I Love Makeup collection, I believe. Believe I don't know. Is that what it's called? Or is it like eye makeup? I don't know. Do I really recommend the brushes? I use them. And you can probably get better brushes out there, so maybe I don't recommend them. But I only do my nose and my cheekbones now. I used to do my jawline, but I don't really think I have to. And I used to do my forehead, but nobody looks at my goddamn forehead anyway, so why the fuck should I care? And for my eyebrows, everyone asks what brush I use for it. It's actually an eyeliner brush. I got this from Sephora, like those random fucking bins that you see, like the Sephora brushes. Um, that's where I got this, it's the eyeliner, and it's angled. Um, I like using this because then I can like make it really pointy at the end of my eyebrow. Massagia Beverly Hill eyebrows, dip brow. I use dark brown. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and then I will be right back. Go back in with the concealer and fix them up if I want them to be perfect. That's how I do my eyebrows. Basically, just like that. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I always do them nowadays. Kind of just shape like this and they go out a little bit farther because I think that's attractive whenever you have eyebrows that go down and point out a little bit longer because your eyeliner is probably gonna like end up meeting out right around there. Probably. Milani eyeshadow primer. I've used this all my life for primer. I don't know. My eyeshadow never really creases so I just keep on using this and it's super fucking cheap so why not? Little cheating thing that I use is that I actually put some primer right here on my cheekbones so when I do my highlight um, it's like 50 times more intense and I also do it to my nose as well so just 
gonna do that real quick. And I'll be using the Smashbox, what is it? It's just called the Bold Eye Palette. It has a orange in it, and I'll be using that orange and the yellow, and I'll be using a three, like three different shades of dark brown um, from Milani, the nit Natural Palette not nitro. NYX, a golden shade called Daisy. And then, of course, I always use this, but I'm going to be using the Peach Goddess Skin Frost by Jeffree Star, um, because I'm trying to fucking complete the goddamn shit so I can get a different highlighter, but I don't like wasting products, so I wait until I'm done with something before I try something new. Going in with, like, some basic eyeshadow brush, um, but I start off with a yellow on the rim just so it's an easy transition color, blah, 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 makeup terms, blah, 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 boring, boring, boring. Just apply it to your goddamn crease. I feel like so uncomfortable that you're actually this close to me. I don't know if I like this. I hate makeup tutorials. Oh, well. Um, and then I take the orange with the same goddamn brush, because I don't give a fuck, and I only put it on the outer corner and the inner corner to do that stupid halo effect to make your eyeballs look a certain way. I like how it makes your eyeballs look. And you don't really want to move it anywhere else. I think it's called, like, the halo effect or some shit. And that's what I do for the orange, and then I get onto that very dark brown without the brown and this is with the brown yes i'm gonna blend this shit out <sighs> jesus jesus okay so now that it's applied on both sides i'm gonna spend like five minutes blending this shit out and then i'll come right back <laughs> um yeah and then i put in my contacts and i move on to my eyeliner what is it it's trooper and i believe it's just the tattoo liner in black um, I did fucking hate this a lot when I first got it, but I actually like it a lot. Um, it's a little bit faster than what I usually use, and I like how long it stays on. Sorry, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. It's bothering me. My liner for this look, I'm obviously gonna go out very far, because one, <sighs> everything is really extreme, obviously. Um, and I'm going to be meeting up with my eyebrow, but I'm going to be coming back down here. So just a little bit farther back. It's not going to be that intense, but uh, the point is that you want it very thin and you want it thicker more around this area in this area and then thin again in this area. And that's how I do my eyeliner for my face and my eye shape and blah blah blah. That's how I like it. So the eyelash glue that I use is Duo and I already put on mascara. Um, I use Huda. Boop. See right here. I usually get Sasha, but all they had was Samantha, which is number 7. I believe Sasha is number 11. I prefer Sasha and for some reason Sasha's lasts a lot longer than Samantha's. But, this sounds so weird. This sounds like I'm saying something about Sasha's and Samantha's in bed. I am sorry. Um, I just prefer Sasha. It looks better for my eye shape, but this gets the job done. <sighs> and I've said this before, I do not wait for the glue to dry because I believe that they fall off super easily. So I do not trim the lashes because I'm trying to elongate my eyes. Um, I do have the lashes sitting off my eye all the way out there and they do meet the rim right about here so that's just how I put my lashes on my eye all right I went ahead and wiped off all the chapstick that was left over on my lips and the leftover makeup uh, the shade that I use is something like this you can find something like this somewhere in the world uh, but this is number 18, and I have no idea what the fuck this is. It used to be on here, and I used to know what it was, but I don't see anything, tell me. All I see is the number 18. But just go find a new lipstick. This is... You can probably find this in a Kat Von D shade, but they're lipsticks. Fucking transfer, so fuck that, and so does Jeffree Star. Any recommendations for a new highlighter? Um... A new lipstick brand that does not fucking transfer. Do not say Kat Von D or Jeffree Star. That shit transfers. Um, and a cream contour that you would recommend. 
do comment down below. So for highlighting, I still do the same heavy ass pack highlighter that I have always done <laughs> on the top right here on the bottom. It kind of just makes the brow bone look a little bit better if you do heavy and then you blend it out. And then you blend this out. I do like the heaviest points being right here and right here just because for some photos or angles, it's best if you do it in an inch back, so. I don't know, dude. I put the smallest dot right here. Just so it makes my nose look a little more lifted. I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Point is focused right there, and then whatever's left over on my finger and my brush. I drag down the middle. Whoa, check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my cheekbones. And then I pack that shit on still. Cause I am a savage beast that likes highlighter. I don't know. That's probably the one thing I don't give a fuck about. Is just... Is that enough? Probably not. Probably not. Actually, I'm gonna say yes. <clears throat> Do people still even highlight their cupid's bow? I don't even fucking know. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it or you it helped or whatever, whatever questions you had. Um, I know some of you guys wanted a tutorial on this makeup or however, or what products that I use to do my makeup. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.